In this lecture, let's learn how to handle events in a React component. So till this point, we have learned everything about components, that is how to create components, how to pass data to the components, how to render elements inside a component. But now let's learn how to perform one of the most fundamental actions, and that is basically interacting with your website by clicking on a button. So in order to understand events in React, let's go ahead and let's create a brand new component. So I'll go ahead and create a new component and let's call this particular component as message.jsx. So here in this component, I would say export default function message. So this is the typical syntax which we use for creating a component and we return a div. So let's go ahead and let's create a button here, which is a regular HTML button. And let's have some text on this button, which would say something like, click here to get a message. So now if I want to include this component inside our app, I'll go ahead, get rid of the previous component, which we have and simply include the message component here. So message, which is the component right here, and it automatically gets imported up over here. So if this is not imported in your code, go ahead and do that. So now let's get rid of the previous imports. And now if I go back to the app here, you'll be able to see that we have a giant button here. Now, if I click on this button, nothing happens. And that's because we have not yet learned how to handle events in a React component. So in JavaScript, what you used to do is whenever you have created a button, in order to handle the click event on that button, you used to have an attribute called as on click. However, in React, we do not have the on click attribute, but instead we actually have this on click where C is actually in capitals. So we have a camel case on click here. So over here, I need to type in on click. And this right here is not the regular on click, which you use in JavaScript, but instead it's actually a JSX attribute. So if you hover over this, as you can see, it's actually a part of react and it's not your regular JavaScript code. So to this particular on click, we have to pass in a function uh, which should be executed when a person clicks on this button. So we do not have that function created yet. So let's create that function right up over here inside the component itself. So over here, I would define a function. So function and let's name that function as handle click. So as this is JavaScript, I could simply write a regular JavaScript function here. So I would say handle click and let's say this handle click function simply prints something to the console. So here I would say console.log and let's console log a message like button clicked. Save this and we are good to go. So now on clicking of this particular button, I want to call this function, which is handle click. So here I would say on click equals. And as I want to call this particular function, I could make use of curly brackets here to write some JavaScript code. And I would say handle click. Now remember that you just have to add the name of the function which you want to execute. And you do not have to go ahead and actually call this by using a parentheses here. And that's because if you do that, this handle click function would be called even if you do not click that particular button. So make sure that you just have passed the function name here. All right, so now let's save this. And let's go back to the browser here. And right now, if I hit refresh, if I click on this particular button, it says button clicked right up over here on the console. If I keep on clicking this particular button, as you can see, it keeps on logging that particular message to the console. And if you go ahead and if you try to do something like this, so let's see what happens in that case. So I'll refresh the page and I'll have a function call over here instead of simply passing in the function name and I could save this. And as soon as I save this, as you can see, it says button clicked twice. And that's because our application gets rendered twice due to the react strict mode. And as the application renders, the handle click function is going to be executed. That's because we are calling that function here. And if you click on this, now nothing happens because that function has been already called. Therefore, you need to remember that you simply have to pass in the function name here for this thing to show something over here. So this was a simple example of handling a click event in a React application. Now, just like the click event, we have the mouse hover event. 
we have the key press event and multiple other events in react so we will be discussing them eventually in the course as we move ahead however this is what the basic event handling looks like in a react application so once we have learned how to handle a click event in the next lecture let's learn how to do something interesting in react except for logging something on the console because obviously these buttons which we have uh, they must do something so in a react application or in any application for that matter you will notice that whenever we click certain buttons some data on the web page changes but right now we do not have any kind of container which allows us to store data in a react application uh, yes we have used props to pass data from one component to other but we do not have something in which we could save the application data in. So from the next lecture onwards, let's learn about state in React, which is used to handle our application data, or more specifically the component data. So let's learn about state in React and why it is used in the next lecture.